everybody, Jordan Nelson here. Just want to do a quick Final Cut Pro tutorial for you talking about how to use an adjustment layer. I just started using this for this most recent wedding video that I created and it was super helpful to create this really awesome effect. So those two clips that I showed you at the very beginning, I hope you noticed the difference. In the first one, that zoom transition included those letterbox bars. So as you can see here, if I play through, those black bars on the top and bottom are included in that zoom transition. I do not want that because I want the clip to be within the letterbox. I don't want the black bars to be included in the clip. As for this other one, I use an adjustment layer to fix that. Just the clip inside the letterbox is what did the zoom transition. The letterbox stayed put. So why did that happen? In this first example, if we look at this clip here, and I have my letterbox effect here. Now this letterbox effect is on the same plane as the zoom transition. So it is included as an effect on that clip. And this zoom transition is doing it on the entirety of the clip, including all the effects that are on the clip. So there's no separation there. Like that transition does not know that you want the letterbox to stay put it's gonna use the whole clip and do the transition on that. So it does not know how to differentiate. This is where an adjustment layer can come in really handy. Final Cut Pro does not automatically come with one of these, but if you Google adjustment layer, free download, Final Cut Pro, you should have four or five options that you can download them from. The zoom transition, I also was able to get a free download on as well. So if you Google the same thing, except zoom transition, you'll be able to find something pretty easily. Now what I did with this adjustment layer is I overlaid it over the top. Now what this adjustment layer does is it takes whatever effects that you place in that adjustment layer and applies them to the clips below it. So it is on top of the clips. It covers everything that's underneath it. So I put the letter box and dragged it onto the adjustment layer. And then this is what ended up coming up. The effect on that adjustment layer is the letterbox. So now that zoom transition and the letterbox are on two different planes. The zoom transition is doing the transition between the two clips and the adjustment layer is on top of that and has no zoom transition involved. As you can see on the adjustment layer, there is no transition there. So that letterbox is going to stay over the top of both of those clips. So I think adjustment layers can have a lot of applications. I'm excited to kind of get to start using it. It'll probably just really speed up my workflow as far as putting effects on multiple clips at once and even be able to do stuff like this where I can have multiple effects and not have them kind of bash into each other on the same timeline, but have them on top of one another so I can prioritize what stays put and what doesn't. So I'm excited to continue to use this. I'll put links down below to the zoom transition that I got as well as the adjustment layer and where I downloaded it. And at those links will also be instructions on how you can download and install those effects and transitions. Thanks so much for watching everybody. If you have not already, please click that subscribe button. I have a lot more videos like this on the channel related to wedding videography and just video work in general to help you guys out if you're just getting started. So thanks so much for watching. We'll see you in the next video.